Spending some time with David Wells, the tight end for the San Diego State Aztec football team. Aztec's getting set to take on Fresno State, and it just so happens that David grew up in Fresno. So this is kind of an exciting week for you. Yeah, it's definitely a lot of fun. I'm really excited to go home and see all my family. You know, uh, haven't seen them in a while, so it should be a lot of fun. When, you, uh, when the schedule comes out, do you say to yourself, oh, there's the Fresno game, and I'm glad we're playing up there this time. They came to San Diego last year, but to go up there and, and just know that you're going to have a lot of people watching you, I mean, that's got to be exciting. You know, that's mostly my family, what they do that. Uh, they usually mark that on their calendars and whatever they go. So uh, they always make, a, make it a point in, the, in their little schedules to come and see this game, you know, just because everybody's from Fresno. So, I mean, it's always a good time seeing everybody. When you grew up in Fresno, was there any, I mean, there's always been a little bit of a rivalry between Fresno State and San Diego State. Do you ever remember going to see the Aztecs play the Bulldogs from the other side of the rivalry? No, actually, I've never seen, a, never was able to watch um, Fresno State and San Diego State. Um, my senior year in high school I did, but I was already committed here. So, I mean, I was already rooting for the Aztecs, so that was about <laughs> it, yeah. Now, as a tight end, we talked about this a little bit before, but you're kind of a member of the offensive line and a member of the receiving core, and this team loves to run the ball. How do you kind of separate those two things in your mind, and, and, and how do you not give it away when you come to the line of scrimmage and you know it's going to be a pass play headed in your direction? You know, I just got to approach, approach every play the same, and... Uh... You know, when it's run play, I go off, get off the ball and try to do the best I can, you know, get my hands inside and try to block the guy and take him downfield and create space for Pump or uh, Rashad or um, Jawan, you know. So, I mean, just tr not trying to give it away. I mean, it's, we're a run-heavy offense. Everybody knows that. But, I mean, uh, when I'm able to get to my opportunities, it's a lot of fun when I'm actually able to get the ball in my hands. When are they going to call one for you on the goal line? Let's, let's get a 88 in the end zone, huh? What do you think? You know, that sounds good. That's not my call. And you know what? Whatever gets us in the end zone, I'll do it. You're just as That's what I feel like with your offensive line. This team is just as happy if Donnell gets in the end zone or Rashad or anybody. And I think that's one of the reasons you guys have been so successful because you all play for each other. Oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're a big team, you know, and uh, definitely think of each other as brothers. So, I mean, whenever DJ or Rashad gets in the end zone, I like to think that I have something to do with it, you know. So, uh it's always a fun time whenever anybody gets in the end zone, so, I mean, can't really go wrong there. All right, well, I don't know. I've only met David Wells a short while ago, but I already know he's really smart because he grew up in Fresno, and Fresno's a nice town, but he chose San Diego. That was a good move. Hopefully this weekend he'll come back with a victory. Don't forget, Aztecs-Fresno State, it's a Friday night game this week at 7.30, and then we'll have all the post-game coverage right here on GoAztecs.com. David Wells, thank you very much. Thank you for having me.